In this video, I will show you how to include the material model in your simulation. Impetus AFEA Solver offers a library of predefined material specifications for you to easily employ. It is, of course, possible to manually calibrate your own material, but for now, let's use the material from the library. Each part in your model must be assigned a material. One material model can be used for many parts, but each part can only be assigned one material. Therefore, you should make sure that the components with different materials are separated in your mesh file. To begin, it is possible to type material library and then type the material name manually, but it is much easier to open the complete material library from the command bar. Go to create materials and then select materials library. This will open the materials library. In this library, we have calibrated materials according to standards or laboratory results. Any material you find here have been validated by extensive testing and verified by version control. Some of these materials are freely available, others are available through separate licenses. New materials are added continuously and therefore your library might show a different list than the one that appears here. Nevertheless, you should be able to find a set of materials calibrated according to DNV standard RPC208. Let's select the soft steel S235. Our triangular beam is 5 mm thick, so we should pick the material card for the thickness range 0 to 16. Before applying the material, you should notice the material ID selection. By default, this is 1, and this will suffice for this input file. However, remember that each material needs its unique ID, so if you wish to add another material, you would need to select a new ID for this one. The material model is now imported into our input file. It remains to be assigned to the right part in the model, but this we will do in the next video.